Hello guys, welcome back to Gujarat Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix Hi-Fi Rush is crashing, it is not launching, freezing and stuttering, black screen, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and all these kind of issues which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this app. So the first step is all about, you just have to do is you just have to restart your PC when you're having the trouble. Sometimes a simple restart can fix the issue. So this is not going to fix 100% but do a restart. Sometimes you know that can even by a simple step can fix a big issue. So I'm recommending you can go forward doing a restart. For that reason just go over here click on this icon go for restart. After restart most probably see whether you are able to fix the issue or not. And if it's not working we have to move to the next one. That is all about you have to allow the game to Windows security. For that, you just have to go over here in the search, search for control panel, click on this. Now from here, go to Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender. Now from here, we have to add the Hi-Fi. So you just scroll down and navigate whether you are able to find it. If it's not there, you don't have to worry. So as you can see, the Hi-Fi rush has been added and both private and public should be checked or else that will be an issue. So make sure both private and public should be checked. And if it's not added, you don't have to worry. Just click on this allow another app. Now from here, go to browse. Now from here, go to this PC. So go to local C, scroll down and navigate to uh, program file x86. From here, scroll down and navigate to Steam. Just scroll down. And from here, go to Steam Amps. Now go to Common. From here, you have to click on Hi Fi Rush. Select this one and you have to add it. So if you add it, it will be there because it's already there. So you just have to do the same. Once it is done, just close everything, go back to the game and see whether you are able to fix the issue or not. And if it's not working, we have to move to the next one. That is all about you have to install graphics card manually as the third step. For that, you just have to go over here. Uh, I'm sorry, by mistake, I launched it into big picture mode. So let me close this, exit big picture. So right now I have to go to this link where I'll be giving the link for both uh, NVIDIA as well as for the AMD users. So if you're on the NVIDIA, just click on this one. Now from here, go to product type that is Geoforce, product series Geoforce RTX, which is mine. So you have to select the respective one, everything from here. Now operating system, as you can see, mine is Windows 11. So I have to select 11, not 10. So just go for everything and go for start search. So what happens is this is going to take a little bit of time. So right now, as you can see, the version is 5.28.24. You have to download this. And the version has been released on 24th, 1st January, which is the latest one. Just download the size is around 813.36. So just download and install this. If you're on the AMD, do the same. Select the respective one, model and everything, go for submit. And from here, you have to download it. That is, if you're on Windows 11 64-bit, download the respective one. And if you're on Windows 10 64-bit, download the respective one. Once you download and install, you can see the differences and this is what you have to do. After doing the restart, I mean doing updating and installing the graphics card on both, you have to restart your PC so that the change can be effective. And once you're done with this, try to launch the game and you can see the differences. Moving to the next one is all about you have to run the game as a game on dedicated graphics card. For that, you just have to go over here in the search and search for graphics settings. And you can see there are many games which is running in the background, and which is recently added to this. So we have to add the same way for Hi-Fi. So click on browse. Now go to this PC. This is where the game is installed in my case, which is local to C. Now just click on this one. Now go to program file x86. Scroll down and navigate to Steam. Now from here, you have to scroll down and navigate to Steam. Select Steam Apps, go for Common. Now from here, go to Hi-Fi Rush and select the respective one, go for Add. So it is added. Now click on Option and change this to High Performance because by default, it will be let Windows decide. Change this to High Performance and go for Save. Once you're done with this, just go back, try to launch the game and that is going to work well as well. And even if you tried, if it's not working, we have to move to the next one. That is all about the rent the game as an administrator and we have to delete few saved game file. For any the game as an administrator, it can be done in two ways. Either you can go over here, right click, go to properties, go to local file, click on verify integrity of game. Sorry, you have to click on browse. 
So when you click on browse, this will be very easily redirected to the install folder where the game is installed. As you can see at the top, this is the path that is this PC local disk C, program file 86, Steam, Steam apps, com and hi-fi. So you can do this very easily and it can be done. And if not, that is the case. If you wanted to navigate to by default method, which is over here, just go to file manager over here, go to this PC. Now from here, go to local to C, scroll down and navigate to program file x86, scroll down and navigate to Steam over here. Go to Steam, click on Steam apps, go to common, select Hi-Fi rush from here, select the respective one. And you can click the respective one, select this one, right click and go to uh, properties go to compatibility and make sure run this program as an administrator should be selected if it's not there you have to select it and go for apply and go for ok now launch the game if game is not installed what we have to do is we just have to go to over here once you are done with running the game as an administrator go to documents over here so if any game uh, files are saved just go over here and now as you can see you have to delete the documents from here, you will be getting a folder just deleted. So you'll be losing everything. But keep in mind, this did work for many of the users and you have to try the same. Moving to the next one is all about, you have to launch the game from installation folder. Instead of launching the game from the Steam, just right click over here, go to properties, click on local file and go to browse. Now launch the game from Hi-Fi Rush from here itself. That did work for many of the users as well. So that is why I'm recommending you, which you can be done as well. So next one is all about, you have to try the next step that is all about we have to install visual c plus plus for that you just have to go over here click on latest uh, over here on the visual c plus plus and as you can see if you are we are having options for x86 x64 and you should be knowing which one is yours for that click over here go to settings now from here go to system over here in the left now scroll down and navigate to about over here, it will be very visible if you don't know which one is yours. So mine is 64-bit operating system, which is x64 based processor. So you have to close this, go back and you have to download this. So once download with this, just download and install the Microsoft Visual C++ and do a restart. After that, you can try to launch the game and that will be working as well. If it's not working, we have to move to the next one. That is all about, you have to disable Steam Overlay as well as overclocking application. For Steam Overlay, click over here, go to Hi-Fi Rush over here, select the respective one, go to Properties and from here you have to click on Controller and from here as you can see, you have to uh, do this, that is you have to disable the Steam, uh, sorry, this is about disabling Steam Input. For that, just click over here, go to Settings, now go to Controller and uh, okay. So we have to disable the Steam Overlay, right? So I got did it confused. So same it is, you just have to go over here on the properties. Under general, as you can see, enable the Steam overlay while in game should be unchecked. That is the reason, that means it is uh, disabled. So this is what you have to do because disabling did work for many users. So you have to do the same. And next one, which is closing about overclocking application. There are overclocking applications which is running right now in the background. So click over here on this click and go to uh, device manager. Now from here, as you can see, you have to go to over here, it's not device manager, right click, go to task manager. Now from here, as you can see, there are many things running in the background. So uh, from here, you have to uh, end the task for few apps like Discord. You have to end it because it drain a lot of, per of uh, performance. Same for LG Hub and you can keep on scrolling and it can be done for many other things which is running in the background, which is draining out a lot of performance. You can do this. So when you do like this, you know, it definitely help you guys to avoid the issue. So you should not be uh, ending tasks for everything over here that will be affecting you more. Uh, it will make you more complex. So do the same. And next one is all about, we have to uh, perform a clean boot. For that, you just have to go over here and you have to search for system configuration. Go to system configuration. Now click on services. And over here, as you can see, you have to select hide all Microsoft services. And as you can see, disable all is grayed out. So just click on this. Once it is done, you will be getting restart option, restart your PC. After that, try to play the game because I very recently did this. So that is why it is disabled for me. You have to disable it, restart the PC because it will ask you to restart the PC, then try to launch the game. And if it's still not the same, 
we have to move to the next one that is all about we have to verify integrity of game file so just click over here go to properties go to local file click on verify integrity of game file so verify integrity of game file is going to fix a lot of issue if any files are missed and if any files are corrupted and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this so this is a very important step and you should not be neglecting this this is very important which can be done from your end and this will be fix a lot of issue this is what you have to do moving to the next one is all about you have to update your windows for that just go over here in the search now from here you have to go to settings which is uh, you knew that just go to windows update and make sure that you're on the latest version of windows for that just download and install to the latest versions or if you're getting an update just go for the same and after updating the windows to the latest version try to play the game and you can see the differences next one is all about we have to do few few more steps like you know if uh, you're trying to play the game with controllers and if any multiple monitors are already connected then i'm recommending you to eject everything in the sense you have to remove everything from the usb port for example if controllers are there it's already connected so you have to remove the controllers simultaneously you have to do the same if you're on the multiple monitors just remove everything then launch the game after game is successfully launched successfully you can connect it back and try to play the game with controllers and this is what you have to do next one is all about you have to uninstall and reinstall the game for that just click over here if you wanted to uninstall go to manage and uninstall the game and you can reinstall it back but when you're reinstalling back you should be knowing that it should not be on the same local disk as you did before right now i'm only having local disk c so if the game is downloaded and installed it will be definitely here so if i uninstall and reinstall it back that's not going to make any sense so what do you have to do is when you're reinstalling it back try another drive for example if you're having multiple drive at least two which is local to c and d then try to install it back on d and you should not be doing anything else and this is what you have to try so uh, this did work and many users this uh, share this and you can try this out simultaneously if you go over here the next one that is all about you have to give few launch options in the command for that just click over here go to properties now go to the launch options under launch option give the command that is dx11 you can try with this and try to play the game if it's not working you have to go for dx12 and try to launch the game and both the things are tried and if it's not working you should not be keeping anything over here just remove everything and keep it default then try for next step next step is all about you have to roll back the drivers like i said third step was updating to the latest versions but sometimes that will bring a lot of issue so that is the reason i'm recommending you have to go back for that just click over here in the start and go to device manager from here go to display adapters now select the respective one right click and go to properties now go to driver so here we'll be getting the rollback driver option just click on this and roll back the drivers and after that most probably uh, it will be in the latest uh, older version then try to launch the game because this did work for many users as well so you can try the same so last and the least one is all about you have to increase virtual memory for that just click over here go to view advanced system setting which is like this now go to settings now go to advanced now click on this one that is change now from here as you can see under virtual memory there is an option automatically manage paging file size for all the drivers so if it is selected you can see that i am not able to select the local disk c which is only local disk which is available on my pc so what i have to do is i just have to uncheck this all the time keep in mind you have to uncheck this so if you are having multiple disk you have to select the disk where the game is installed in my case the game is installed on local disk c so i selected this if the game is installed on d i would have selected d but keep in mind in order to select you have to make sure that automatically managed paging file size should be unchecked and it should not it should be like this once you're done with this just click on custom size and here we have to give the value that is initial size as well as maximum size so first we need to know the ram for that just click over here go to settings from here you have to go to system scroll down and navigate to about now from here you are able to know that 32 gb is my ram so right now find the 32 gb so this is my ram so it might be 460 for some users it might be 8 it might be 4 it might be 2 even 1 so based on this we are doing the calculation so let me do for this so i knew that minus 32 gb so what i have to do is just have to go over here now i have to go for a calculator so that i can go 
uh, do some calculation. So the first thing I have to do is I have to type the RAM. So minus 32, so I'm writing this. If you are having 16 GB, type 16. If you're having eight, type eight. If you're having four, type four. If you're having two, type two. Then you have to multiply. We are converting the GB to MB. For that is the reason we have a basic conversion rate that is 1024. So I did multiply it with 32 because my RAM is 32. So if you're having 16, multiplied with 16. If you're having eight, multiplied with eight, two, four, etc. vice versa. So here 1024 is the basic value which you have to do common for everything. So now multiply it, that is 32,768. So I have to copy this value. And this is where I have to give for the initial size. Sorry, not, not this is. I have to, after getting the conversion, I have to multiply it with 1.5. So that is 49,152 because this is the value uh, that I have to give over here. Now, once after giving the value, I have to go for the next one. That is all about, I have to do the calculation for the maximum size. Maximum size is always three times the total trend. So I have to multiply 32 GB into 1024. 32 is my RAM, 1024 is the basic conversion value. That brings you 32,768. Now I have to multiply it with three because um, maximum size is always three times the total RAM. That is 98.304. So I have to copy this. I have to paste it. After that, just click on OK. I'm not going to make this change. So uh, uh, for the users, don't get confused. You can go for OK. Then that might be ask you to go for a restart. Restart it, then go back to the Steam and try to launch the game. So these are the possible workarounds that you have to try out when you're having an issue with Hi-Fi Rush. This crashing, not launching, freezing, black screen, low FES drop, stuck on loading screen and all the issues and how you can fix this up. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.